this tutorial we're going to make a, uh, a fire with some smoke and I'm going to put a hurt trigger around it so when you approach it or get really close to it you'll actually slowly die. Okay, I created my skybox. I created uh, just a basic ground, textured the top, and I'm just creating just a bon bonfire wood here. And then uh, notice I created my deathmatch spawn intermission kind of angled down and believe it or not if you keep it that way and if you stay in spectate you move around you'll stay in that position that looking down position is kind of funny funny actually doing a map like this it's pretty simple the only thing you really need to do is in the scripting it's not actually in the map you need to make something your fire goes in and I'll show you how to get the coordinates to get your smoke and your fire into your script so let's just go ahead and texture this wood here. I'm just going to use anything I can possibly find. I don't care what it is. We'll just use this wood. I'm just going to select them all. I'm not going to paint each face. Yeah, it looks good enough to me. Now in our 2D view we're going to kind of zoom in and you're going to find the center where you're at. Once you find the center where you're at, look at your bottom. It's right down here your X and Y numbers. Look at those. Keep your mouse on that spot on your map and write down the X and Y values at the bottom. So X equals 16, Y equals 24. Okay, we have our X and Y. Now let's get our Z, our up and down, our third dimension. Let's go ahead and zoom out, zoom back in. We want the base of the fire to be probably at zero because that's where my map is, my level of the ground is at, is at zero. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep that at zero. Okay, since we're going to be using smoke and fire for this, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the coordinates for the Z for the smoke. And the coordinates for the Z for the smoke, if you looked at the bottom down there, it says 32. So we're just going to keep the X and Y the same value, 16 to 24, and the smoke is going to be at 32. Okay? Now, now that we have our dimensions, we're going to go ahead and add a trigger. And it's going to be a trigger, uh, the trigger texture. Let's go ahead and go to our common textures. And we're looking for a trigger. I just reloaded this for my other tutorial. Here's my trigger. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to surround this. Zoom in a little bit. It doesn't have to touch the ground. You can if you like. It doesn't necessarily matter. I'm just going to go up a little bit here. And now we're going to just right click on it. We're going to go down to trigger hurt. Notice how the box changed to trigger hurt. Now we're going to press N. It's going to say trigger hurt. If you read uh, this portion, you'll kind of understand basically how to set this. Damage is default is 5. But we're going to make this, yeah, we'll just keep it damage 5. We want to slowly hurt ourselves. You change to damage 100. As soon as you come near it or touch it, you're dead. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, you can actually hold the, light, the life of the, of the damage. Uh, you could time it so it'll exist. Uh, for probably what 0.5 to 2 seconds uh, defaulting is 0. That's how long it'll live. It's just going to stay constant. You can also check these boxes. These are flags. You can have it starting off as a certain damage or you can have player only. You can have it silent so you won't hear, hear somebody getting hurt during it. No protection that'll hurt anything that goes through it. You can make it slow. Real slow. Changes the damage rate to once per second rather than it's uh, 0.5 seconds. Okay, so yeah, we'll just change that to slow. And we're going to keep the damage the same, so that's going to be it. Press N to get rid of it. And that's our trigger. Okay, we already have our X and Y coordinates and our Z for our fire and our smoke. And we're going to do the scripting now for it. And we're going to compile the map. And we're going to run it. Okay, at this point, I went ahead and I took a GSC file and I just re copied it, renamed it to fire, the same as my map, and I added in two pieces of script that I found from uh, GameSpy.com. This guy has a, a fire and a smoke, so we're just, we just copy what they have there, and we pasted it in here. This is for the fire. Then on your fire, this is where you put your X and Y. 16 was the X, Y was a 24, and 0 was the Z location. 
you don't mess with the uh, the other portions of the number at the end. You just need to worry about the first three that are in the uh, parentheses. The next one was for the smoke. It's going to have the same coordinates as x and y. So it's going to change that to 16 and 24. And we said 32. Okay, that's for our uh, level effect smoke. Let's kind of put those back up here together again. Go ahead and save it. Close that out. Close that out. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to compile our fire map. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, just got through compiling. We're going to go ahead and, and we're going to copy the fire BSP and my fire GSC file. Let's go ahead and copy those. We're going to go into the main, maps, multiplayer. Since I put a deathmatch spawn in there, it's going to be a multiplayer. Let's go ahead and paste those in here. So we have our BSP and our fire GSC file. Take a look at our GSC, make sure everything looks okay. It's going to play the pre court background, you know, whoop de doo and that looks about right. It has the coal fog in there. I don't. I don't really need that. We can. You can comment it out by using the two forward slashes, or just keep it in. So now we're just going to keep it in there for now. Let's get close that out. Let's start our multiplayer. We're going to start a new server. Make sure it's not pure. Click back, drop our uh, console down. You can do, you can use develop map or you can just use map. It's your choice. And the map name was fire. Press enter and I hope everything goes as planned. First thing we're going to notice is the intermission the angle of the intermission, it's, it's really neat. I made a mistake one time and I just turned it upside down by rotate, rotating it wrong and I went around the whole map upside down. Let's go ahead and just spectate it. See, notice how we're already looking down. There's our fire and there's our smoke. Now let's go ahead and uh, select a team and see if we can hurt ourselves. And notice how I'm dropping down five by five at a time. You can actually put several triggers inside of one another, so the further you go in, the faster you get hurt. You can do things that way.